What's going on, buddy? My name is Austin from Back Break Fight Gaming, and this is Mountain Blade Warband. Now, I played a lot on my own, um, just so I can you know I have something to show you guys when I actually came back to this game. So, as you see, I'm no longer over in River Shag. I'm here. Also, I've gotten 41 soldiers instead of just my usual, and I've got a lot more money. I've actually got $49,000 instead of just the usual. No. Also, I think I've upgraded my inventory. No, I haven't. Okay, so, uh, so that's my whole thing I've been doing right now. So, we're actually going to go over and buy our very first business. Alright, going to Sarga. Okay, so, some soldiers are ready to upgrade. That's cool. I don't care. We'll do that later. Okay, so, first thing I'm going to do is go to the marketplace. So, I'm going to buy some armor. Some better armor. I don't, I don't need anything expensive, just some you know, simple, simple shit. That's 17 and 9. It's worse. It says 30 and 12. It's not bad. 30 and 10. Expensive as fuck. Huh. So I can afford that on my wants. I can afford that. I'm going with this. Bam! I'll sell it back to them. Look at that. A monster. Okay. This. Let's oh, see that. That's camera. Do this in later. Okay. Um. Okay, so. 38 minus 36. So that helps. It's a little more expensive, but I need it. I'm gonna get the fucking shit out of armor. 48. 38. Why is this so much less? I'll take that instead. Wait, yeah, H26, 4,000. Yeah, it's definitely better buy. Um, this is 6, this is 2, so it's more helpful. And I guess I'll pick these up. They're the only ones I can really get without you know, being sucky. Alright, so now I've got decked out in fucking armor. Look at this fucking monster. Alright. Let's see, the arms. Can I have any new arms? Because I don't like using this shit. Eight. I don't know if I can use it. It'd be nice. I'll sell this to you, and I'll sell this to you. Then I'll buy a strong nomad bow and some arrows. If I have, they have any, they do. Arters, thirty peach. So let's go with this one. All right. And then different swords. I mean, yeah, there's this, but I don't like a nice sword. Okay, no, I'm good. Oh, one hand war axe, that's great. 34, 35. I have war axes. Sorry, I'm kind of weird up. Huh. 96. There's speed rating. Just got a bit, we got a worse reach. Ugh. Close. Okay, I'll, I'll stick with my sword. Do I need a better shield? I think I do. This is only 8 resistance. It's a 10. This is a 16. This is a 5. This is my one. I gotta go this one. I'm not spending a lot of money early on, but I think we're good now. So, what I'm gonna do now, we wanna take a walk around the streets. Now, when you go to each different tavern, or not Dabber, when you go to a, a, a town, different uh, guilds masters would look for in different places. But here, he's right here. As you can see, I'm the guild master. Okay, so I just want to talk to him. And I would land, land in this town for protective enterprise. Now, sometimes I'll say very good, but you know, we in the guild know we trust you. I think I can find someone to sell you the land you need. Sometimes I'll say that. Sometimes I'll say we want to know you better. Sometimes I'll say that they're lord. A person who owns that area doesn't like you, and he they won't think they, they he won't think he'll sell anything to you. So you want to make sure before you buy a business that the lord likes you there, and that the guild master knows you well. Usually the guild masters aren't very picky. Um, I think I only had one person deny me because he didn't know me, but that was really it. There was all in the background. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each one um, and see which one's going to make me the most money. So this one um, is going to make me 30 bucks a week, 
give or take. So I'm going to say no, pick again, L, 145, that's better. So I'm actually going to write those down so I know what I'm doing. So, red, 30, ale, 145. Okay, enterprise. Now, with about 30,000, you can do almost anything. I think you can afford to do any kind of thing. This one is three. Oh, wait, no, probably 181. That's not bad. So, hides 181. All right. Maybe for this again. Uh, Product of Enterprise, wine. Oh, that's not good. Wine would be negative 34. Okay, no. Um, Product of Enterprise, uh, all oil. 136. So far, the top one is Kai's for 181. So, Bird of Enterprise, um, Iron, 182. So, this is Tools, 182, which actually does take it all right now. So, this is the most productive one so far. Um, so we're gonna go with this one. Oh, damn. This is for the velvet shit. Oh shit. Velvet. I think this is gonna win. 541 dinars a week. That's awesome. Okay, I'll make, I'll make sure, but I was my art thought that's cool. Um, Okay, this one profit would be 60 a week, so this is the hides for 60. But now I have two hides. Why do I have two hides? Because this one is hides, this one is actually wool. Okay, the loon from flax would be negative 38, so negative 38. Now usually these are all going to kind of sync out. It won't be the exact same, but usually what's good in one area is going to be perfect in the same area. So like the Nords, they're base lands, so Sargoth, Tyr, Wurche are the three that they start with base lands, and so those will be really good for, guy, for buying the Velvet. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, Enterprise, and yes. So it's ten thousand dollars. So this is my first night. Leave. Tab out. Leave again. So now, as you see, I still have twenty thousand dinars. So I can still buy two more of those lands. So that's the next one to go to tier and buy the same land if it's somewhat the same price. So over there is five forty one. I'm gonna control shift over there because I don't want to wait up the entire time. Uh, tavern. Nope. Take off on streets. My bad. Okay. This will start me outside the city, which is fine. You can ride your horse into the city most times, not a big deal. I don't think I've actually met a city I can't ride into. Let's see, I'm just gonna look for this flag. Um, there it is. Park my horse. Alright, Mr. Guildmaster. No, I didn't even try to talk to you. Okay, same thing. And uh, this one, right? Yeah. This one's 454, which is still pretty good, so yes. So now, give or take, I'm making about $900 a week. Or $10, sorry. So tap out, leave. Now I'm gonna make a long trek over to Wurchin.
Oh, I'll get to show you guys other things. So, actually, I want to show you what all I've upgraded since I've been uh, playing a lot. Like I said, now I'm level 18. I think when I left, I was only like level 4. Um, now I'm 1300. Things like Christmas, only at 12. Um, I've got my always gonna like carry Iron Flesh and Power Strike maxed up and Power Draw. I like, like I said, like using bows. Uh, Weapons Master is good too, so if you lead or read or learn all this shit. Um, my Athletics is still pretty low. Um, my Shield is still pretty low. Um, Riding still pretty low, but I don't usually use a horse anyway. Um, let's see. Looting I'm still really low on, but also I do have my trade up, my leadership up, my prison management. Now, here's why I got prison management, because when you capture people in war or in battle, you can sell them if they're not if they're not like a lord. So, like, if I count, if I was at war with the lords and I captured, fuck. Lord Gerald, for, for say, you know, Gerald, Gerald, or Gerlot, or whatever his name is, I can't sell him. But, like, everybody else that I captured from his army, I can sell. So, um, but one thing you want to be careful of is there's two things, two places you can sell them to. You can take them, you can take them to the, uh, Rama and the Slave Trader, and he'll give you 50 each. Not a bad deal, right? But, you find a Ransom Broker, I'll pay you more. Like, for, like, certain people, he'll give you less than 50 sometimes. He'll give you a lot more. I always go with the rent brokers because some of them are worth a lot more than 50 bucks. Also, on this side, everything, I kind of try to keep everything somewhat evened out. But, of course, my one-hand weapon's up more. Uh, these are all kind of tied out, and then throwing is down just a little bit. So, I want to show you guys that before I continue to anything. All right, end of word check. Uh, we're going to hit the... On the streets... I like the banner. I think the Gizmaster's up there in this case. I think this is the only place he's not on a, on a porch. I think. This is him, yeah. This is him. Okay. And then Perfect Enterprise. And... There we go. Oh, it's right here. So yeah, the 490 So it's all pretty... Pretty close within like 60 bucks of each other. So right there. There we go. Now I'm pretty much out of money. But now I want to look at. I gotta show you. We gotta wait till my next paycheck. To show you guys. Well, my next paycheck, I'm actually getting something. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chill out. Over here somewhere. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some party. Right now, they're costing me 345 a week. So. I know it says I can handle 62 soldiers, but here's the thing. I don't want to hire more than I'm making. So right now I'm making about, give or take, 1300 So I can still make them. I, may, I can still hold a lot of soldiers. So, or I can hold more upgraded soldiers. So like I said, you see a lot more upgraded upgrades. So I'm just going to go ahead and start upgrading them. But it also costs you 20 dinars, so you got to watch your thing down there too. Footmen, train footmen. Alright, see? They all went up to $381, but I only have $349, so I may not be able to pay them all this paycheck, but next time they'll definitely get paid. So I'm just gonna send through here. I'll pause this video, I'll have to walk. Alright, and we're back. Um, so I wanna show you guys what's happened. So, here's my first paycheck where everything's up and running. See? Net revenue from Dyeworks, that's our golf. I should know I'm pointing. Net, net revenue from Dyeworks, that's Sargoth, 541. Which is what they expected. Net revenue of, of from that works at tier 481, which is about expected. Net revenue from that works at WordCheck 503, which I think was above what they expected. Now I've lost 381 for my party from what I'm paying them, but at the same time, I also lost 32 extra dollars because last time they got paid, my things weren't up and running yet, so I couldn't pay them everything they are they owed or that I that they earned. So I paid them that, but I am up 1,116 dollars. So. I'm going to upgrade people that are already upgraded because I can handle it now. Okay. And... Okay, see, we lost $403. That's still way under what I'm making, so that's good. Um, so, <sighs> sorry, it's a little frustrating for me. I'm going to go ahead and recruit a couple extra soldiers and do some extra missions for some extra lords. Hopefully the king. So horsemen are good because that'll give me a little bit of an advantage for people who don't have horses. We always want to try to get horses. 
Now also, what I'm going to let you know is before I get into any actual wars, before I join anybody, I'm going to get a a business in every major city. So I've already got this to take, and next I'll probably start, start with uh, Swadians, and then the Rodox, Serenids, the Kerchits, and the Vagers. I almost forgot their names. So, but also what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to them. Because I, like I said, having a horseman are really an advantage, especially early in the game. Because you won't fight a lot of people that don't have horsemen. Or you won't fight a lot of people that have horsemen. And Swadians have the best horsemen in the uh, in the game. So actually, I'll show you what each one has good. Uh, the Sargoth, or the Sargoths. The Nord, shit. The Nords are really good with, uh, sorry, is this weird? Uh, footmen. Their, their total special is the Nord Husker. And they're really good for infantry. These guys, I think they come out to Swati and Knights, I think is the best, but they're the horsemen. The spearmen are really, are the best here. These have the best archers. The Karchets have the best horse archers. These have the best, oh, what are these guys? Fuck. Can't remember what these are. I think these were the, no, these were the, yeah. They both have good horse archers, I believe. Something like that. I don't know, I'm not 100% sure anymore. Um, I'll have to actually re recruit them and get them upgraded to see what I'm looking at, but I've uh, totally forgotten. But we're just going to go over. I'm going to try to recruit a little bit from everybody. That way I have everybody kind of taken care of. So looted. Um, I guess I'll go to Nemeha. Go over there next. Group volunteers. Six. That's good. Okay, so now we'll go into, I guess, this place right here. Oh, I see not many had it, that's nice. Go in here, okay, that's sad. Now we go into Dumar. Five, that's great. Wait. Oh, am I out of money already? Oh, so I'm out of money. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, anyway, that's pretty much the gist of how to play this game. How much am I making right now? 539. So yeah, I'm doing good. I need to have some more money. So I'm just going to chill out actually in here so I can recruit more to see where I left off. And as you can see, I'm still only part way to where I need to be. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. I know it's a short one, but like I said, this is not going to be a large playthrough and there's a lot sitting around that I want you guys to have to like sit for. So, as always, if you like the video, please like, subscribe. If you have suggestions, give me tips, comments, put in the comment section below, and I will see you all in the next episode.